gonna head down to the marina tonight and we wanna catch some bunker to use for bait. See if we can't catch some right here. We got a cast net that we borrowed from Mr. Bob. Oh my gosh, dude! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? This is the most fish I've ever caught a cast net in my life! Dude, this isn't real! I can't even lift the net up! I can't even lift the net! Are, are you? I, I cannot lift the net! Like, look at this! This is psycho. Hey. We got bait, y'all. Oh, how about that intro right there? What's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner. We're in Nantucket, Massachusetts. Check this guy out. This dude's awesome. We met, yeah, we met a couple weeks ago online. He's friends with John B and a couple other big YouTubers. We started talking and he was like, come up. So we're gonna be looking for tunas and scallop and maybe a white-tailed deer. But as soon as we get in, he's like, you guys wanna go catch squid? Yes. The answer is always yes. You wanna catch anything, the answer is yes. Well, not only that, we're gonna to try to catch them. If we get enough for dinner, we're cooking them tonight. Calamari, holy crap, they're on the surface. Oh, he just squirted all over the camera. Oh. All you do is you take it and you fish it right out there in the shadow. That's the hunting zone. Let it, it'll slowly float down. It basically represents a shrimp floating down through the water. The deeper you get, typically the larger ones you get. Ooh, and I got a wall hanger right here. Doubled up. Doubled up. So now what you do is let them squirt themselves out like that. Then let them ease back in the water. This dude's shooting a rooster tail, bro. These are, Golly. <laughs> we got daggum. We got, we got. <laughs> Watch it. Watch this all. <laughs> oh my gosh. This isn't real. Look, look at my jig. Look at my jig right here in the water. I got a double. I got a double. <laughs> We're catching squid, boys and girls. Look at what they look like. Ow! He just grabbed he just grabbed the hold of me. Look at him. See right inside his little mouth? See that? That's a beak. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but that's a beak. Look how easy it would be to fall through here. That would suck. I want to know the truth. When you go to a restaurant and you see calamari on the, uh, on the menu, do you order it? Every time. If so. Every single time we go to a restaurant, <laughs> my kids say, calamari. Every single time. Come here for a second. I, w I just want to put my arm around you for I one love second. This guy. I'm just gonna put that. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, you're. <laughs> you just said you love me. Next thing you know, you run away from me. Don't run from your oh, true I saw, Sarah. I saw Sarah's video. No, no. <laughs> if you're doing to Sarah, I know you're doing to me. <laughs> this is no joke. How awesome is this? Yo, drop a thumbs up if you wish you were here, stinking squid fishing with us. Oh. That is one of the most beautiful things ever. Every time we go to the restaurant, we order calamari. So when old Ray Bird says, you want to go squid fishing? I almost jumped out of my skin. I was like, heck yeah. He's got eight legs and two tentacles. These tentacles do not have any suction cups in the middle, but on the very end, there's like a foot. And so when he's swimming along, he holds his tentacles very tight like that. These are like tucked inside. He swims up and then these shoot out, pow, and catch the prey. You know how many of those I can get one throw? 
There you go. Got the double action. Got a little, got a two for action there. Okay, so let me show you guys what we're using here. I'm using the double hook rig. It's a loop on top. You've got a loop up here where it flies around and then this comes down to the bottom. It's, see, it's got ink all over it from the squids, but it basically represents little shrimp. And then you've got two rows of barbless hooks that when they come in, pow, and they grab it, you hook them. Look how beautiful that is. Dude, is that all his ink in there? It's amazing. Oh that? yeah, yeah, don't spit on me. <laughs> <laughs> Now I'm gonna let them ink out in the water. If you just pull them up right water's level, they'll ink. Let them do that a bunch until you start seeing them shoot clear water. Then you can lift them up. I'm gonna let them ink one more time. See, there's still ink in there. Then I'm gonna lift them up and I'll walk them over to my bucket. That's how you don't trash the dock and all the people around you, you know? Yeah. It's Check it out. We have not been fishing for 20 minutes and we got a daggone bucket full of whoppers like that. All right, y'all. We made quick work of this, but look at that bucket of love, son. I mean, so you've got some that are small like that, some that are big. Well, now that the daylight's on, y'all can see this, my boy, Paul Figpin, he came up. We're gonna do some fishing together, but seeing as we just got here, Squid is the name of the game. You take the finlets off. It's called a finlet? Well, that's what I call them. I don't know what it's called, but they're like the wings. Uh-huh. See the wings? Oh, yeah. Take that off. And then you want to skin them. Do you need this? Uh, it's pretty tough, so you usually don't. This is interesting. This is very interesting. This is very, very interesting. You know, when you go to a restaurant, I don't know one family that doesn't order the calamari, and this is always in the pot in the bowl. And I was wondering how. To, ooh, Look at how, how much ink out. came out of there! Oh my god! Yeah, you gotta give them a good rinse because the ink pads in there. What you taking out of it? There's a. We call it the quill. That's just. That's oh his my spine. god! Look at that right there. That's where they used to make the pens out of back before they had plastic. Oh my. God. That's what gives them the stiffness. And they made pins out of that. That's what they tell Literally, me. you guys, if you if you were to hold this, that feels 100% like a plastic insert. Feel that. Feel That's incredible. That is incredible. That's what the inside of them looks like. If just in case you ever wondered what the inside of a squid looks like. You're just trying to scrape off some of that ink. Oh my goodness gracious. Dude, we could make the sickest strip ever out of this. Well, that's what we use for the fluke. We'll take Look at the that. and split them like that, and then we'll, we'll use those for fluke baits. And put that on the end of the hook and it flutters behind there. What? When they're fresh like this and you freeze them right away, they're so firm they don't come off. Look how nice that is that you could make like a a, a dolphin strip made out of that and just murder them. Alright, but uh we're gonna eat this. And so then all we're gonna do is we're just gonna take and cut nice calamari strips, just like that. Now we're cooking this right out in the open, so I like to just put a little bit of uh, lime on it. Then we're gonna salt it, pepper, a little garlic powder. Ooh, that smells so good. Throw it in there. The cool thing is we're gonna be fishing on that boat right there tomorrow. And Ray and Bobo have one of the coolest Instagrams ever. So y'all gotta check that out. Here you go, throw some flour in there. Hey, it don't get no fresher than that. Take this little fry daddy, put us a little dollop in there. We're cooking, ladies and gentlemen. 
And Bob comes in for the save. Well, the rescue. Captain Bob, we're the rescue. Might have overloaded the basket just a little bit. I'm very, I'm very ambitious. You're I'm hungry. hungry. You're hungry. I'm hungry. Listen, we've been on an airplane all day. We show up. There's all these rad dudes running around. They ask me if I want to go catch squid. I'm like, yes. dude, as soon as Paul gets in, we are there. So delicious. We're here, man. Mm, look at that table. I mean, that's the money. That's the money shot right there. Or as they say up here, that's the cheese. The cheese. Let's give it a whirl. We can always put it back in. Whew. Look how nice that is. Oh my God. And we're just gonna. Whoa! Whoa! It sounded like a 22 Magnum going off. Mm -mm. Let me get in there. Mm. That'll hunt. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. It's hot. Oh. Raybird, where have you been? I was, I was letting you guys go. Now that the food's done. I'm here. This is Raybird right here. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed this quick little video. From the moment we landed until right now, we have been having so much fun. This place is beautiful. It's full of history and culture and life. And it abounds with seafood and wildlife. I'm excited about it. But that's all I got for you tonight, man. Go order some calamari. Have a good time. We'll see you next time. Take care. God bless. And we are... Gone! <laughs>